was the son of a pizza man, the only boy who could ever feed me. Hey guys, welcome to Son of a Pizza Man. I'm Enzo, and today we're talking about yeast. So before I get into it though, please remember to subscribe. Just hit that red button, that's all you need to do. Also remember to hit that bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. So today we're talking about yeast. Um, so as a novice uh, cook myself, getting into the whole pizza thing, I, I'm realizing that yeast is a very important part of the whole process because it kind of makes or breaks your dough. It makes it rise or not rise. Um, and it also affects like the texture of your crust and like that flavor, that like, like yeasty bready flavor. So. Um, Every time I would go down the baking aisle and look for yeast, I don't know about you, but I never know the difference between like all the different types of yeast uh, available. So I thought I would educate myself and in turn educate you. So uh, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the three most common um, forms of yeast that you can buy and use in your pizza dough. So by definition, yeast is a single cell microorganism uh, related to mushrooms, actually. So it's part of the fungi family. Yeast has been used for thousands and thousands of years, going all the way back to the Egyptians. Uh, they would make bread and wine and all kinds of stuff with yeast. So it's not a new thing. It's been around for a long, long time. The three types of yeast that we're gonna be talking about today are instant yeast, active dry yeast, and fresh yeast. The main difference between these yeasts are the moisture content and how you prepare them to go into your mixture, your flour mixture. The most popular brands out there, I feel like, are Fleischmann's and Red Star, um, as far as yeast goes. There's also uh, a brand called SAF Instant that is, is pretty popular with the baking community, but I've never used it, I've never seen it, so I don't know if it's like one of those, like, I need to order online kind of things, but that's another one. Instant, also known as Quick Rise. So this is the yeast that does not need to be rehydrated with water or sugar or anything. You can literally just pour it into your flour mixture and be done with it. A lot of people like this because they don't have to deal with the, the mixing and waiting and all that, but I've never used it, so I don't, know how, I, I don't know how well it works. I'm sure it works just as well. Active dry yeast is probably the most common kind of yeast, or, or at least the one that I'm most familiar with and that I've used in my pizza dough. It's the yeast that you have to hydrate and kind of activate and, and bring alive. Uh, so to do that, all you need to do is take a bowl, uh, put the yeast in there, and then I uh, take some sugar, because the yeast will actually feed on the sugar and, and get all gassy, uh, and then you add some warm water to it, and you need to make sure that the water is not too hot, otherwise you'll kill the yeast, and that'll be sad. Uh, you'll know if the yeast is not alive. And then uh, that takes about 10 minutes, and then after 10 minutes, uh, you'll have this big frothy, delicious mess, and then you can add that to your dry mixture. Fresh yeast, also known as cake yeast, is probably the least used yeast for the everyday baker. Uh, it's kind of hard to find and it's very perishable. <clears throat> so the dry yeast is a better alternative because it keeps better and it keeps longer. But uh, cake yeast is, it's basically a, a beige soft block of uh, it feels like Play-Doh and it like crumbles and all you have to do to activate that is just mix it in, into water and then you're, you're good to go. Uh, I remember back when I was working with my dad as a pizzeria owner, he would obviously buy them in bulk. So you buy these huge bricks of uh, fresh yeast and I, I distinctly remember having to like measure it out and then crumble it into the, the mixing bowl. Um, and that smell of yeast, if you wanna know what yeast smells like, uh, go, go buy some cake yeast and take a big old whiff because that's, that's yeast. Also, if you, you can substitute fresh yeast for dry yeast and vice versa. It's just a two to one ratio. Uh, the more, you wanna use more fresh yeast versus instant yeast or active dry yeast because it's more concentrated. So just remember that two to one ratio. 
And then I also wanted to kind of mention the wild and natural yeast, which is like a, like a starter kind of thing. Uh, I'm not gonna get into it too much, but it's basically where you mix flour and water and then you let the yeast, there's actually yeast in the air all around us at all times. Uh, uh, which is a weird fun fact, I guess. Uh, and that, and that kind of like ferments it. It's, it's a really cool process. Um, I don't know how many people actually use that method, but it's a inexpensive way to get yeast into your baked goods. So I hope that quick explanation of yeast uh, was informative and I hope you learned something. Uh, I know in my research, I was like, oh wow, I never knew that. So I'm just passing that along to you. Um, so there you go, yeast, who knew? Uh, thank you guys for watching as always. And don't forget again to subscribe. It means a lot to me. And until next time, ciao for now. The only one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. The only boy who could ever feed me was the son of a pizza man, yes.